And next up is the champion from two years ago, Carol Miner from the Miami Heat. And he was only one of four rookies to win the slam dunk championship. I expect, I expect a nice routine out of Harold Miner. I, I think you're going to see some, some, some sweet dunks here. Harold Miner at 6-5. Whoops. So far, the contestants have mixed six of the 11 dunks they attempted. Oh, that's a beauty from Harold Miner. He's trying to cup the ball here for a dunk, and it looks like it's slipping out of his hands. He might not be able to do the dunk he'd like to do. Here's another one of those bounce dunks. Oh, Charles, what are you thinking? Charles Barkley, how are you and your group liking this? I think we've lost our communication with Charles. We'll get him back in here in just a moment. Harold Miner has brought the crowd to their feet. The first electrifying dunker of the evening. He's still got 37 seconds. Remember, he has to complete three dunks. And a score of 40 out of 50 is the number to beat so far. I tell you what, uh, he getting these guys excited. This guy jumps with awesome power. He plays to the crowd. That's an advantage for him and G.R. Rowdy. They're the guys who play to the crowd better than anybody. They definitely have an advantage. Oh, yes. There's that cup dunk he wanted to do. So Harold Miner, in our view so far, correct me if I'm wrong, Charles, is the leading contender as of now. Do you agree? The crowd thinks so. So Harold Miner brought Ooh. the crowd to their feet. So far, definitely the most exciting. Let's see if he also excited the judges. Well, the style is there, the energy, and then the power. And when he's sending it, he's sending it so strong, and it's clean. His eyes were almost to the rim when he dunked that ball. Look at the guys. Yeah. Harry Payton and Matambo. Matambo would be going, not in my house. How about that? <laughs> How about this? 49.2. Our best score of the night for Harold Miner. He was the 93 slam dunk champ. You see Isaiah Ryder only 34. It's already Jamie Watson eliminated. So Harold Miner has to beat 34 to become only the third two-time champion in the slam dunk competition history. Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins won it twice each. right there Charles uh, if he can just get one more semi impressive in, he's got this thing won but just look he just dunks with so much power then them kind you can't try to block right there maybe it's the shoes Charles oh uh, no they're not my shoes <laughs> Scotty Pippen looking on it looks like Harold Miner's gonna walk away with his slam dunk championship he's already hit two. Oh yes this guy is so explosive. <laughs> nope. Oh, almost got it. Remember, Miner got a 49-2 in the first round. So it'll be a shock if Harold Miner doesn't walk away with this. We'll get our judges' decision. In just a moment, Julia Serving, George Gervin, Connie Hawkins, Lou Hudson, Maurice Lucas, the judges. Let's look at these replays. Could be Miami Heat night here. Could be. Glenn Rice won the AT&T long distance. Harold sure, Miner. For sure Kevin Lockery, would like to have a couple wins when they go back. The score for Harold Miner, only six. He's smart. He stayed away from the lob. Even after what he does best, right. cradle the ball, send it down strong. And our winner is Harold Miner. No wonder he's smiling so much from Miami, who has won for the second time. And tonight, no question, Niner was 
Finer, the 1995 Slam Dunk Champion. We'll be back to talk to Harold and see the trophy presentation right after this.